Yeah, that's a very technical question, so I'm going to give it, unfortunately, a very technical answer. Yes, there is a way of doing it. Unfortunately, you have to use an arc sign transformation, which is not easy and not obvious. But I'd express a lot of caution. Percentiles have some major problems with them. You know, the whole point of percentiles is comparing yourself with other students. And yes, there is a place for that, I suppose. But what I'm much more interested in the effect size notion and how we use that is to get a sense of the learning growth for each individual student. And yes, when you look at the average of the effect sizes, you in a sense got a comparison. Uh, but so yes, you can make a, a transformation between the percentile rankings and effect sizes. It's not, a, it's not a straightforward one, it's not an easy one. I'm not even sure it's a very worthwhile one, but yes, you can do that. But much more importantly, I think, is that if the beauty of effect sizes, given they're so simple to calculate, is they start to give you a sense of that magnitude notion. So yes, it can be done, but it's probably not the wisest thing to do.